Acubilla.com Meteorologist Community Director Jesse Farrell here with you. Uh, it's another gadget blog. You know that I like to let you know when I find something cool uh, as far as weather gadgets and in this case it's webcams and first I want to apologize for a gadget blog that I did over the summer reviewing the Linksys IP cameras which turned out to be terrible. Um, on the face they looked good, the idea was good, but turned out uh, they just kept falling off the network within a few hours of bringing them up. Uh, they couldn't do a simple FTP to my website, um, so I want to apologize for that because I thought that was a good shot, but turned out they were really, the equipment uh, was quite quite faulty and it was clear that the whole business case that they were using for these things just wasn't working out. So I tossed them, trashed them, I got some Panasonic IP cameras, these I'm very hyped about, I'm practically gushing about these, I'd, uh, I'd like to say these webcams have saved my life, but they really haven't. But they're really nice because like the other IP cameras that I reviewed um, they have a little computer inside of them so basically inside here is an actual computer with a web server uh, in it which means that you do not have to hook these cameras up to your computer you get rid of that middleman which means you can put them anywhere <coughs> in your house and these are both wireless and wired meaning that you can plug them directly into your router or if they have the antenna as shown here you can actually transmit them over your existing wireless LAN which means that now you can literally put these cameras anywhere inside your house uh, without having to run any cables, without having to worry about a UPS or a computer being on 24-7. And the beauty of the Panasonics is that they really seem to have their act together. The web interface for each of these cameras <coughs> excuse me, is very similar or the same, uh, unlike the Linksys. I haven't had any problems. Sorry, I got kind of sore throat today. I haven't had any problems with these cameras falling off the network. Uh, they haven't been given any, any errors. Uh, they're very reliable. And they're actually not that expensive either. Bottom line, I just bought this camera here on uh, Amazon.com for like uh, 80 bucks. And uh, this is, of course, the wired version. Uh, you can get the wireless version for about 100, 150 maybe closer to 200. If you go with refurbished, which is uh, a possibility, I bought a couple of refurbished ones and they were fine too, uh, then you're looking at uh, closer to maybe 125 for the wireless version of this, um, closer to 60, 60 or 70 bucks for the wired version refurbished. Uh, this guy here is controllable. Uh, this little lens here moves around and we'll talk a little bit about that. In fact, I actually have one of these sitting here in front of me, which I'll show you. But basically, um, this little eye here uh, roams around based on where you click on the web page and then it uh, is able to pan and zoom quite a bit this is your uh, this is your uh, what do you call it? infrared sensor here uh, in addition to detecting motion uh, the, ca the, the uh, camera shown here on the right can also detect uh, heat and use that as a motion sensor and I haven't gotten a chance to play around with that much Suffice to say, these cameras provide a live feed in your web browser from anywhere on the internet. You can easily FTP static images to a web server, which I always like to do, and you know, so you can archive, put them on web pages, and that sort of thing. And they're just really nice. I'll just quickly flip over to the web interface. Um, what we're looking at here is the web interface for this guy on the right, which is the BLC30. This is the BLC1 over here on the left, but the BLC30. But again, the web interface looks the same for all of these. So you'll see the Panasonic logo, but go ahead and click on single. And that's going to bring up the uh, actual image. Now, since I'm trying to show you my camera at home, which is ironically right here in the window, but from the AccuWeather network, there's a lot of stuff involved. And this is going to look a lot slower than it actually is in reality. These things are almost real time, especially the wired versions are absolutely almost real time. So now you're looking at a live picture of uh, what's happening at my house. And uh, if I click anywhere on the image, then it'll go ahead and pan and tilt in that direction. And that's a little, uh, I hear it going out there. It's a little bit noisy, but that may be because I got the refurbished version. That might be my fault. So here's my front steps. Uh, there's a car going by on the, on the street. Uh, you can use your typical pan and, uh, pan and uh, tilt things here that you would normally do pan up and pan left and that sort of thing but the cool thing is you can set presets here so number one set a preset here in my driveway so if anybody uh, stops by I'll know preset number two here is over at the left the mailbox uh, we got preset uh, number six that looks uh, across the road at the neighbors which I try not to keep it on for their uh, for their uh, own benefit uh, <clears throat> 
below the controls here and the presets you have your standard brightness controls uh, refresh interval if you decide you don't want to waste the bandwidth of the camera uh, for live video you can switch this to a number of seconds because remember the more people that are connected to this camera the slower it's going to be and that's just the natural occurrence that's nothing wrong with these cameras that's just the way the IP cameras work so uh, if you can avoid uh, running it live then uh, you can probably save yourself some bandwidth if you're trying to look at it for more than uh, more than one computer down below that is resolution of course change from 64480 by 320 again because of the bandwidth issue with this camera especially if it's wireless um, smaller is always going to be better uh, as far as the uh, speed of the picture because you're basically choosing speed or size here um, and of course you can favor clarity which is the clearest picture which looks great for the static upload display standard which uh, tries to uh, use the motion JPEG a little bit more it cuts down the quality a little bit but it moves a lot faster and then favor motion the quality gets kind of uh, kind of uh, low but you can see true motion so you ba it's basically a payoff now this video is running a little long here so what I'm going to do right now is uh, if you'll click on part two below you will see a, a demo of the way my cameras are installed and the way the multi-camera page looks too because you won't be able to see a live uh, demo of it here so click below to continue.